show you guys how you can pull some of the testing data from our textbook platforms into Schoology. So um, I'm in class link right now and I'm going to click on McGraw Hill and then I'm going to navigate to Inspire Science. Okay, so I'm right now in the um, teacher edition of Inspire Science and I'm going to go to the assessment category. The Inspire Science test and question set, which will open in a new um, window. So if it doesn't, your plat um, pop up blocker might be on and you want to check that. Okay, and now I just navigate to the test that I'm looking for. And um, this looks kind of like an old school style testing platform. So you kind of have to drill down into it. So I'm going to choose Inspire Science, fourth grade. Okay, and then I'll go to my module. And once I've expanded the module to make sure that that's the one I want, I am going to select Options, Open Test. So once that test is open, I can kind of like scroll through and again, just make sure that that's the test I'm looking for. And then I'm going to go to File, Export as Blackboard 7.1+. Any of our testing options that we have in um, other platforms that allow you to export as a Blackboard document can be uploaded into Schoology. Okay, so once that is um, downloaded as a zip file, I am going to pop into Schoology and go to my resources area. I'm gonna choose the little down arrow in my resources, choose import, choose the Blackboard zip, and I'm gonna just add this to an existing collection. If I make a new collection, it makes a new collection for every single test, and it's just easier to add it to an existing. So I'm gonna go to existing, and I could put this in home, or I could add it to maybe a specific science resource collection. It's up to you. And then um, I could add it to its own folder. I'll just put module one. Next. Okay, I'm going to attach the file and I'm going to navigate to my downloads, find that zip file. And um, this is off screen here because I have too many windows open, but I'm going to choose open and then it press import. And this does take a few minutes sometimes. Okay, so I can scroll down, see my module one, and I can see that that has been imported. So. I will also get an email that says that my transfer is complete when it's completed. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the test inside of this module one folder to keep everything together. I'm going to go to add resources and choose add test or quiz, give it a title, choose my maximum number of points and press submit. And then I choose add question from question banks. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull all the questions. So I choose individual questions, navigate to that module one folder where I saved it. And then I'm just going to select all. I can set the points. Maybe they're all going to be one or two points. Um, you might have to go back and just double check against the test to see if they were different. Um, you can change them individually. So if this was going to be five points or something, you could change that. And then you add the questions. Okay, once I've added all my questions from that test bank, I can add additional questions if I have additional questions that I want to add. Um, I can reorder the questions. I can um, edit individual questions. I could make them worth more points. I could align them to standards if that didn't happen. Um, and then in the settings of the test, I can um, change things like page breaks and um, the number of submissions and if it's resumable and that all those basic test kinds of things. And when I'm finished, I can just save out those changes and it's really ready to be assigned to my courses then. So it's that easy.